Hey, Soul Surfers. Welcome back to Waves of Consciousness with My Spiritual Ocean. My name is Alicia. Today we are riding the manifestation wave. We are going to talk about your belief systems. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Today, while we're talking about belief systems, we're going to talk about the anatomy of a belief system, what goes into it, why it feels challenging to change them, especially if they're belief systems we've held for a long time, and why affirmations don't always work right away. If you are listening to this podcast episode through one of the podcast platforms, if you would like the visuals, I recommend checking out the video on the YouTube channel. However, you should still be able to understand what I'm talking about even without the visuals. All right, so on the screen now, you see the tree of belief and you see the three main components of it. At the roots, you have the emotion or emotions. Then you have the trunk of the tree, which is the belief, which would be the words that form the belief. And then you have the leaves, which are the actions or behaviors connected and associated with this belief system. Let's dissect a common belief system that comes in conjunction with a fear of abandonment. That is, everyone always leaves me. Okay, so what you see in the world is this belief of everyone always leaves me playing out. Okay, now in response to that belief system, you see the behaviors. So in an effort to avoid having everyone leave you, you may isolate yourself and avoid connection altogether. You may turn to people pleasing or perfectionism to ensure that no one can leave you. What you don't see behind this belief system is what's driving the belief system, the root of the belief system, which is the emotions of fear, abandonment, or rejection. And there may be other emotions, but these are probably the most common ones that would be connected with this belief system. So in the world, what you're experiencing is people having left you in the past. So you make this assumption and this belief that everyone always leaves, and then you respond to that by doing one of the ones at the top. And there's a lot of different ways that an abandonment wound can manifest in behaviors. So these are just examples. So let's say that you want to change this belief system. You're tired of being abandoned or feeling abandoned. It's getting exhausting to people please and to be perfect all the time. And it may even be exhausting and frustrating to isolate yourself in whatever way that looks like. When people want to shift their belief system, typically they will start with an affirmation. So they have identified the belief that occurs. Okay, so you see on the diagram here, the belief has changed to everyone always stays because that's ultimately what you want to focus on. That's what you want to experience is people staying in your life. So people will start hammering in this affirmation. Everyone always stays. No one ever leaves me. Things connected with that belief system. But what most people experience is resistance to that. Or they may, even though they are affirming this, they don't experience this in their reality. And that's because affirmations and the belief is just a part of the system. So when you haven't dealt with the root cause of the belief of everyone always leaves me, which is the fear, abandonment, and rejection, that's going to be the driving force for everything. So you may be saying everyone always stays, but still participating in people-pleasing behavior or perfectionism or isolation because you're still being run by the emotion. So even though you're saying everyone always stays, that's not the experience. So you're going to continue to engage in behaviors that support this belief system, but they're actually run by fear, abandonment, and rejection. So when you do that, you're coming from a state of lack, a state of fear, and what's running that belief system is still the fear, which again manifests in these behaviors that don't feel good or feel frustrating. Also, if you haven't dealt with the root of the belief system of everyone always leaves and you just try to mow over it with the words everyone always stays without dealing with the root emotional cause, it will feel really exhausting and it will feel challenging for your subconscious mind to accept those belief systems. So instead of starting with affirmations, which is what most of us are taught because we're taught our thoughts create our reality. What really needs to happen is to get to the root of the belief system, because when you do that, your belief systems will naturally shift along with that. 
So this is why body work, somatic healing practices, energy healing are very beneficial because your subconscious mind is your body and your body remembers everything. That's the root. There's energy that hasn't been processed or released. So essentially you're operating from that stuck emotional energy. So that's why you can see people saying or thinking they believe if they'll, they'll say, I've been affirming everyone always stays, but people are still leaving. The emotions, fear, abandonment, and rejection do not fit with the belief system of everyone always stays. They they don't match. So in order to have the belief system everyone always stay, stay, you have to release those emotions of fear, abandonment, and rejection. Sometimes people may even try to change their behavior too. So they may try to stop people pleasing. But again, when you do that, it can feel resistant because you're still fighting against that emotional energy that's at the root of what's causing the behavior. So when you address the root cause, which is some type of emotional energy for pretty much everything, um, some stuck or unprocessed emotion, naturally everything flows. So when you get down to the root, the root cause, the roots of the tree of belief, deal with those emotions, then it's easier to plant that new belief. And then in turn, it will fruit new behaviors and actions naturally. And this is why when people try to change behaviors and haven't addressed the reason behind the behaviors, they fall back into old patterns. And this can beget a guilt and shame cycle as well. So what do we need to do in order for this belief system to stick? Well, we have to get to the roots, like I've been saying. When you get to the root cause and you release those emotional energies, something else takes its place. It makes space for feelings of peace, security, and love, for example. And when you have those as the core foundation, then the belief system of everyone always stays, fits, and matches with that. And as a result, the tree will fruit with these beautiful behaviors of connection, boundaries, and a growth mindset. So ultimately, if you want to change your belief system, it's very important to get to the root cause. You can try and start with the behaviors. You can try and start with the affirmations or the tree trunk um, and start trying to change that belief with the words. But until you ultimately get to the root cause, which is the emotional tie behind the old belief system, then you're going to continue finding yourself in old patterns again and again. When you process and release those old emotional energies that are stuck or stagnant, then it makes it natural and flowing for the new thought patterns to come in and the new behaviors to occur. It won't feel so resistant. So the long story short of this is the sooner you get to the root cause of what's going on behind certain behaviors that you may want to shift or behind certain experiences that you may be having that you'd like to shift, the sooner you get to the core of those and shift that, the easier it's going to be for your new belief systems to come into play stick around and then bear fruit of different behaviors and actions without feeling like you're in a cycle and going back and forth. So you're ultimately going to be driven by the emotions that you prefer to feel rather than the ones that have tied you to your old belief system and old behaviors. So if you find yourself affirming and feeling challenged by that, or you're trying to change your behaviors and actions to match your new belief, but finding that challenging, that may be the reason that there are underlying emotional drivers behind your old belief systems and behaviors that need to be addressed first. And when you release those, naturally the belief system will line up to match. The actions behaviors will line up to match without you even needing to try. When your emotions and your belief, the words that you're choosing and the actions and behaviors all align, that's when your new belief system is firmly implanted and sustainable in your life. If you would like a quick and easy way to identify and release those emotional root causes to your belief systems, I offer two services, one called Emotion Code, one called Body Code. They are gentle, non-invasive energy healing modalities that connect with your subconscious mind and really get to the root of what's going on in your experiences. If you'd like more information, check out www.myspiritualocean.com 
I have a section on that page that says about emotion code and body code. And you can also book one-on-one sessions with me for that. The sooner you get to the root cause of your belief systems, the sooner you release these emotional attachments to your old belief systems and stories, the faster you'll be able to experience what it is that you truly want to experience in life and manifest a life of peace, freedom, and ease. And not only that, you'll be able to sustain your manifestations as well. So make life easier for yourself. You can start with somatic practices and connecting with your body every day and creating that safe space in your nervous system for you to house a new belief system that feels good for you and also make space for those better feeling emotions. When you do that, life feels so much easier and peaceful and free. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me. I will catch you on the next wave.